welcome back who's on so I have a question for you guys today um, have you ever loved like one clothing item so much that you probably try to sneak in like your tomorrow outfit the next day outfit so that you can wear the item again without being noticed that oh you wear that item twice in the roll I have that problem before and I I don't know I just think that you know if you buy an item you obviously love it and of course there's something that you will love more than another and that's okay too but if you there is something you love and you want to wear it again um you know i think it's okay to wear it again just maybe twist it up a little bit so today um i'm gonna do a challenge with you guys well it's not necessary a challenge but you know i want to show you guys tons of different way to wear your sundress so the first it's just my regular sundress and I got this sundress from Abercrombie & Fitch and I really love the cut. I think it goes well with everything. It just has a, a little deeper v-neck. Um, you can wear a tank top in size that you like. Um, actually, this dress is not current so I'm sorry but you know, any like light, um, when, like I really like floral print but I think like teeny like little floral prints are easier to style than a bigger bulkier um you know floral print so yeah this is the dress and the first way i wanted to wear it is obviously by itself and it kind of a little unstructured width without anything so i actually put a belt because if you guys already noticed that i really love belt like i belt everything I think belt just give an outfit a completely different look but very like just define your waist so I really love that and yeah um, this is one of my favorite belts as well you probably see it in my other videos but yeah I'm just wearing a Oxford just a creamy color Oxford since I'm really short and petite so I felt like a creamer cream color shoes would extend my leg a little longer I'm not saying it would make me any taller but it just gave that illusion, you know? <laughs> the second way I would wear it is with a lace vest or and a belt if you like. Put the belt over like before. Okay, and you can just throw on this lace vest over here. Okay, I'm just gonna structure that like that. As you can see, it just adding a vest over gave it a totally different look already. Or for this second look, you can always tuck the vest inside like this. Just tuck them inside all the way. So that way it gives it more structure and it just look like it like a part of the dress instead of just a lace vest over a dress. So I thought that's really cool. So that is two ways you can wear the second look. Okay, and I'm just wearing the same Oxford flat that I had earlier. Okay. So this third outfit is really simple and laid back. Um, it just put a cardigan over. I just have this navy cardigan over here. I think navy is not as dressy as black, but you know, still like, cause since my dress are creamier, I just put a navy to add some more of the darker tone but you can also pair it with like if you have a more colorful dress some um, you know maybe would be great or you can do like creamy color cardigan and this is probably one of the really basic way to wear a sundress so I really like this look it's very laid back and obviously really easy to wear anybody could pull this off so that it was the third look so for this look which is number four look it's obviously very fun, playful, a little, little edgy and sporty look. And I hair my dress with this army green, like, just jacket. I also got this from Abercrombie & Fitch. I used to love that store a lot. I haven't shopped there for like maybe years now, but yeah. I just used to love the store a lot. And I got this last year, but you can always still find this anywhere. And I belt my dress with the same belt I had early, earlier. Um, I just really like this color with my dress and you can also like use any color belt to kind of go with your dress. Since my dress had a little like orange flower, I thought orange would really go really well with it. 
and I just paired it with a short like ankle booties because so for this next look um, it's a little more different I use my dress at a top and my dress actually go a little longer so I actually just pull it out so it have more like the looser top look and I paired it with a over waist um, like a high waisted skirt and it's just a navy skirt I swear like I feel like orange goes so well with like everything and the orange in my skirt just like really pops out and yeah so I'm just pairing the orange blazer since orange is obviously one of this year's uh, you know very popular color as you already know by now and I'm just gonna pair with a blazer so as you can see it's like a totally different look and no one will ever notice this is your like sundress that you wear underneath and it just gave it extra layer and support as well so I thought that's really cool and so this is the fifth look and I just pair a oversized sweater with this it's just a slightly oversized um, I pull the sweater to the side because I like the off shoulder look and if it's not your thing, you can just leave it on. Um, my sweater actually has a high low hem, which I really love. I just think it just gave my, um, just this look a more texture. Because this outfit, I, I just paired it with a long necklace. I think it's really gave an outfit a really fun and cute texture. Um, yeah, I would totally wear it like this. You know, but if you like to define your waist, I'm just going to take off the necklace since it's a little too much with the belt. And I'm just gonna throw in the belt like this since, you know, if you like a defined waist look, this will be perfect. That was outfit number 6. This is outfit number 7 and I just add a very cute, um, you know, sleeveless blouse and I just kind of tie it around the dress. I thought that was really cool. It kind of gave it more of a cowboy-ish girly look in my opinion I don't know I don't know what look does it look like to you but I thought it's really cute and I just paired with the ankle boot earlier I swear the ankle boot goes with everything and yeah for the summer um, I'm, I don't really go toward like black I go I think brown is a lot of more appropriate for the summer so that is the last look so this is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoy all seven looks and I wanted to do it for the whole week long since you can probably wear this piece for seven days in the roll but you probably don't want to do that. If you do then I guess just make sure to tell the person next to you that you do wash your clothes. <laughs> yeah that's just seven ways that I wanted to show you guys how to wear the dress. There are definitely more ways out there. And yeah, if you have any other way, please let me know in the comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!